Hello, Chad Schimmel here. Welcome back to the shop. Today I wanted to talk about carbide tools. Now, one of the nice, thing, nice things about using carbide tools is you don't have to sharpen them regularly. However, you can sharpen your inserts once you've used all the sides. So this here is a square. I've rotated it all the way around, and now I want to sharpen it. So I'm going to just take it off. And you can see I've got some buildup of some grime and dirt on there, and this will take care of all that. So what I'm going to use is a credit card file or a credit card sharpener. This is a thousand grit. And you can use either a lapping fluid or like a WD-40. And all you're going for is to have a little fluid to get the material away from the insert. So I'm going to put it top side down into the fluid, and I'm just going to give it kind of a spinning motion. You can go back and forth or spin it. And I do this about 30 seconds. I'll count here. And what you'll see, you can start to see that black grime and the fluid is what's pulling that away so we don't get it all up back on our insert. But you wanna see that little bit of black slurry because that means one, you're kind of cleaning it up and two, you're getting down to the, the carbide there. And when you think you're done, you can check it out. And you'll see there's a lot of scratches on the top because I've been spinning it around. But it looks like I could go a little bit more. And this time I'll show you the lapping fluid. Put a little drop in there. And they work essentially the same way. So I don't worry about it. But I just want to go till I get that that slurry going, then I know I've got sharpness working. And then I can clean this off. And that is good as new. Now I will generally uh, sharpen these two or three or four times, depending on how hard I've been on the insert. If I've dropped it and chipped it, I might not sharpen it at all but two or three times is usually good, and then you can replace them. Now you can do this on square, round, diamond, as long as it's not a negative rake. If it's a negative rake, you can't sharpen it and you need to replace it when it's done, but that's a small price to pay for the awesomeness of negative rake. So that is how you sharpen a traditional carbide insert. Give it a try. If you have any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe to the channel.